Day 1 Hello, my name is Karen. Can I help you today? Yes, Karen. I am here to see Dr. Mio. My name is Sol Kushkona. Yes, Sol. Dr. Mio will see you soon. So please have a seat, and we will call you when he is ready. Karen. By the way, does Mio really believe in what he is doing? Could help me figure a way to settle my dreams into becoming reality one day, like Mio says his patients have seen while they were dreaming in the experiments that Dr. Mio performs at night time. Sol, where did you hear about Dr. Mio? One night before bed I heard a broadcast on the radio and Dr. Mio was interviewing one of his patients after having bad nightmares, which caused the patient's heart to stop beating, and what the patient remembered after being brought back to life always intrigued me into believing what I felt one night, waking up and my heart stopped beating, and I could not breathe while running around the bedroom as I was blacking out ready to become a spirit in life, but somehow I was able to get my heart to beat again by beating onto my chest as I gasped for air, wondering what really happened to me. Sol, have you ever experienced this before, or again? I was with some people I never met before, and how their faces are embedded into my mind, wondering if they were the ones who tried to kill me in my dream. I wonder if Dr. Mio would have any answers to why I had such a horrible lucid nightmare. Sol, have a seat. I will write down what you just told me, so that Dr. Mio can think about what you just said to me. Hello Sol, my name is Dr. Mew. Please come follow me to the examination room. Nice to meet you, Dr. Mio. You look very familiar to me. Have we ever met before on the streets? And sure, I will be happy to follow you anywhere you want to take me. So, Saul, have a seat here. And what can I do for you today? Dr. Mio, since I was a child, I would have dreams, but many dreams I do not remember, and some I do, but in my dreams, I am around people men or women, and we are in places that I have never seen before in my life, and when I wake up, my life seems to be different on how I want to treat others in life, but also how I look at the world now in a different realm. Some of my dreams become true, and others I wake up from a lucid nightmare, hoping those dreams never become real. Yes, I read your report that Karen wrote about your heart was not beating when you woke up one night in a dream. Can you explain more to me about this dream? Dr. Mio, all I remembered in the dream was that I woke up and was not able to breathe. So I started to beat on my chest really hard, and I was able to get my heart to beat again. A dream that I do not want to ever wake up to again. As for me waking up in a different realm after that. I see life differently towards death and how others are dying all around me, as I accept that now, as part of life. Knowing that all of us will die one day. So why fear death? when death one day will change your realm of reality after that last breath that you will be taking in life. Saul, why are you here today to see me? What do you think I can do for you? Dr. Mio, I read an article in the New York Times that you are experimenting on patients using ways and means to be able to share people's dreams with each other. Or should I say, people being able to be in other people's dreams while they are in a deep sleep. Can I ask you if you are looking for any new patients? I really want to know who these strangers are that I keep on seeing in my dreams at night time, especially the ones who want to do harm to me. One thing that I really want to know. Souls in lucid dreams. Could the people that I am seeing in my dreams, are they the people's souls that are able to travel into my lucid dreams? If so, why am I not able to soul travel? I know when I am dreaming, I am dreaming in my mind, and not in someone else's mind. Saul. Can I ask you what your dreams are about? Haha, <laughs> Dr. Mio, what do I not dream about? It seems that I have had dreams about everything, even falling from the sky, while being inside an airplane, and it crashes to the ground, but somehow I walk away from the burning plane that has blown up into pieces, but also the dreams that I really do remember is that I am on some type of old buildings or old ruins, as I am climbing on steps that seem to have rotten away as I try to climb up into a room where I can smoke in peace, haha. <laughs> Many of my dreams I do remember, as I try to find a place to smoke, a private place where no one can find me, then I wake up. It is so weird, Dr. Mio, it seems that I have talked to you before. Have we ever spoken to each other? Furthermore, it seems that I have had a dream and you were in it. What do you mean by ruins, Saul? Dr. Mio, 
I have traveled many parts of the earth and have seen hundreds of thousands of photos of the earth and the ruins upon the earth, but the ruins I see when I am dreaming will rock the world of yours, because it seems that all the ruins I have seen in my lifetime seems to be made from rocks and stones. Some stones cut like inside the pyramids of Giza. Mostly granite rocks, and how I can still remember that the stones and rocks looked like in many of my lucid dreams. Granite Rocks, Saul Such vivid dreams for you to have remembered, but why come to me for your answers? Dr. Mio, how many doctors are out there in this world that studies only what humans are dreaming about? Not many, and the ones who are studying human behaviors, they are only studying the mind, and not the soul of the humans, which if you think that we all have a soul and our soul can travel while we sleep at night, then Dr. Mio, I want to know where my soul goes to, when I am in a deep sleep, if my soul travels at all. Saul, have you ever had a dream and later in life you saw what you dreamed about? Dr. Mio, I have had many dreams come true, and I won lots of money by gambling after I have dreamed that I have won money in my lucid dreams, but to your question you asked me. Yes, one day I was in a boat on a lake and I came around a cliff, and there were towers of granite rocks sticking out of the earth on the side of this lake and a town was underneath the towers of granite rocks. One day I walked into a next door neighbor's house and saw a photo of Norway with the exact town and rock formations in the background, believe it or not. And how it brought chills throughout my body seeing this photo on her wall. Every lucid dream I have had, and it becomes true, it always gives me chills throughout my body and so. Saul, have you ever had dreams where you have died in your dreams? Not that I have remembered Dr. Mio, why ask such a question like this? I was wondering when your heart stopped beating in your sleep, if you had died in your lucid dreams or not. But let me ask you another question. Do the people who you dream about, do you ever see them again in your dreams? Dr. Mio, what a question to be asking me, this is really hard to say. But now that you mentioned something about it, no, every person in my dreams are not the same, only one daughter of mine. I have had a couple of dreams that I do remember seeing her, maybe once I had a dream seeing my ex-wife in a dream, other than that, I will try to see if they are the same people in my dreams from now on. One last question then I will let you ask me some questions. Many people have nightmares and they wake up screaming in the middle of the night and are afraid to go back to sleep. Do you have any type of dreams like this, Saul? I have had dreams where people were ready to attack me and I would wake up, but in those types of dreams I do remember the people's faces and tattoos on their bodies. It seems like the people who attack me in my dreams have tattoos as I think about my dreams again. I have never seen my attackers in real life and I hope it never happens. But I have met one or two people from my lucid dreams in real life and thinking about it right now, maybe only once inside my lucid dreams. One more question, Saul. Can you remember all of your dreams that you have at night? I wish I could, Dr. Mio, because sometimes I wake up feeling so good with adrenaline rushes, and I only could remember that last few moments before I wake up and how I try to go back to sleep to finish those lucid dreams, but it seems that all of my lucid dreams are never the same, not one lucid dream in my life has been repeated again while I was dreaming. Saul, very interesting how you can remember such lucid dreams. What would you like to know about me and my interests in people who dream in life? Dr. Mio, I have studied all of my life about other people's dreams, but also about my lucid dreams, and it seems that us humans, each one of us dreams differently in life. But it is a hard subject to follow, because not too many humans like to write or even talk about their lucid dreams. I know that my lucid dreams have become real in life, but could lucid dreams change the future for mankind? Saul, many people can meditate and see the future or can even see the past, but yet not one time can a lucid dream change the world, it would be impossible to do, because all the humans are not on the same realm in life. Each nationality thinks differently, plus they have their own religions that will prevent them into believing anything they have dreamed in life. All of us humans are dreamers, but yet I have never heard of one lucid dream in my life that could change the world, it would be impossible to do. Our time is up, Saul. I have to get to my next patient, but here is my card. Tonight, please join me at my house. 
I have some patients coming over for dinner and we will be talking about a new experiment that I want to explore using psychedelic plants to see if it helps people dream differently, but to also see if the psychedelic plants can help people remember their lucid dreams. By the way, Saul, do you know your blood type? My blood type is very rare, Dr. Mio. It is type O. Type O, Saul. Great. What a chance this is that you have the same type of blood type that I was looking for. Looking for Dr. Mio, what do you mean by that? Saul, show up to dinner tonight. I will explain more over dinner. And it was nice to have met you. Before you leave, get the invitation for dinner from Karen, the receptionist. Hi Karen, Dr. Mio wants me to show up to his dinner tonight and he asked me to ask you for an invitation. Sol, are you sure that you want to go to this dinner? Do you know what you are going to be getting yourself into? Karen, what do you mean? Nothing Sol. Just remember this one important thing in life, your lucid dreams are your dreams. So do not let other souls travel inside your lucid dreams, if you know what I mean? No Karen, I do not know what you mean, but I will keep it in my mind at all times, if this will make you more relaxed working here. Oh, okay. Thanks, and I hope to see you again one day. You will see me again, for sure soul. This is if you go to that dinner tonight. Hi Saul, how was your day? Hi my love. My day. It did not go as planned, but I was invited to a dinner, if you do not mind. With whom, Saul? With Dr. Mio, he specializes in lucid dreams, and I really want to know the meaning of my lucid dreams. But I want to go explore deeper into my lucid dreams and see things no other human on earth has seen before. Which I know I have dreamed of places before, no human on earth has ever seen, only me. But what if others could dream the same things as me? Matter of fact, what if others could enter into my lucid dreams with me and experience the same lucid dream that I am having, or experience dreams others are having and be able to share those same lucid dreams after waking up, so that these people in your dreams could help you remember your lucid dreams? Wouldn't that be a life to share with others? You are crazy, Saul. No one can ever enter into your lucid dreams. No one but you. I do not know if this can be true my love, I have had lucid dreams before and saw people that were in my dreams later on in life, and at the same places that I have dreamed of before, so I know people could enter into my dreams while I am sleeping at night, but no one has ever done this before. You may be a right, it could be impossible to do. I am going to take a shower my love, do you want to scrub my back, for me? Saul, scrub your own back. I need to cook dinner for us. Here is some money my love, go out to dinner with your friends. I will pass on the dinner tonight with you. Oh, go ahead Saul, meet some new stranger and have dinner without me, such a nice husband to have in life. Give me a kiss my love. You know that I am only for you. By the time you get out of the shower, my friends and I will be eating lobster and steak, so Saul? I will see you later tonight and be safe. Do not do something foolish that comes out of your head. By the way, Saul, how long will you be gone? My love, I have not the faintest idea how long I will be gone, but if it is longer than one can wait for their lover to return to them, no one thing. One day I will come back to your love even if I die. When you do see our children, give them a kiss for me and let them know that I will love them forever. Bye, my love. Good night, sir. Can I help you? Yes, my name is Sol. I have an invitation for dinner with Dr. Mio. Yes, it looks like your invitation has been approved. Please follow me to the dining room. Sol, have a seat here and have a nice night. Thanks, and your name? My name is Butler. So if you need anything just call my name. Okay Butler, thanks. A good night to everyone. And my name is Dr. Mew, if you do not know me already. But all of you should know me, if you remembered your lucid dreams at night time. I do thank each one of you for coming here tonight. 
all opinions that each one of us has must be heard tonight, for I am here to find out one thing in life, does the humans have a soul, and if we have a soul, can our soul travel to other places on earth or even travel into another universe? Better yet, to be able to have a soul travelling into other people's lucid dreams to feel and to see what others are dreaming about in life. For we all want to seek out answers that will always haunt us until the day we all die, but what if? What if our soul could travel anywhere we want to go in life, but be able to come back to our human body and be safe after waking up in life? This way we could travel to the most dangerous places in our world, or even our universe, places only where a soul can travel to, but to be able to travel with your friends or family anywhere your soul does not fear to travel to. Everyone who is here tonight are here for only one reason and one reason only. You are here to find out what your soul is like, and how you can train your soul to travel while you sleep at night and be able to travel anywhere you please. Now, there are only seven patients here tonight and to protect the patient's identity, we will go by a person's number and not by their name. So if and when the governments around the world try to step in and shut down the doors of mine, your identity will be hidden from the laws of the land. But only one person's name will be used, if he does not mind us using his real name, why? If I am allowed, I want this one person's mind to be used in the experiments I want to perform, as we will all travel together as one team, just in case something happens during an experiment, but as you all know if you ever die and your soul is in a lucid dream, your soul is lost forever in time. We do not want any one of you to lose your soul, nor any one of you to die or your soul to die while being in a lucid dream. Any questions? Yes, patient one, what can I do for you? Dr. Mew, I never met you before, but yet your voice in your face seems to be familiar to me, maybe in one of my dreams. I do remember talking to you. Why? You mentioned about souls being able to travel into one's dream? Please, explain more to me. Patient 1, I was waiting for someone to ask me this. Yes, any one of you here can have your soul be able to travel anywhere you please, even in another person's lucid dream. Yes, patient 2. Dr. Mio, are you telling us that your soul came into our lucid dreams while we were in a deep sleep? Yes, patient 2, it is easy to do but you have to learn the secret to allow your soul to be able to escape the body shell that you are trapped in. Yes, I did enter into each one of your lucid dreams and told each one of you where to find me because I wanted to find out more about where my soul can travel to but also where each one of your souls can do the same thing. But be able to have your souls travel with each other Anywhere your souls wants to travel to, but has any one of you ever dreamed about being in the stars? None of you. To be honest with each one of you, my soul has never dreamed about me being in the stars. All of my lucid dreams have always been on a planet of some sort. The reason why? Is it because we are not dead yet? Yes, P3. I will start calling out people's names like this to make it simple for everyone to talk to each other when needed, okay? Dr. Mew, who is the mind that we are going to try to go into when we are soul traveling? Good question, P3. Everyone I would like you to meet Saul. He has had many dreams in his lifetime where lots of strangers came into his dreams so he wants to know who they are and if these people are souls traveling through his lucid dreams, just like all of us wants to know this one simple, but very difficult question to answer. Yes, P4. Dr. Mew, how could we do such a task like this? It is impossible to do, but yet? Did you say that you've been in my dreams before? P4, yes. I have been in every one of the patient's lucid dreams before, the ones who are here tonight. 
This is why all of you are here and this was how I convinced all of you to come here while my soul was inside of one of your lucid dreams. Yes, P5. Dr. Mio, how was your soul able to travel inside other people's dreams? P5, I used a mixture of hallucinogenic plants that puts my body almost into a dead state that allows my soul to leave my body. It is very dangerous and I do have nurses taking care of my almost dead body. So, is there any more questions? Yes, Saul. Dr. Mio, are you crazy? Are you out of your mind to think that I want souls to travel into my lucid dreams? WTF are you thinking? You invite me to your dinner arrangement, thinking you can just rearrange my life around others to have them become part of my life in your dismay. Please, Saul, do not think like this. You wanted answers, right? You really have nowhere else to go if you want to find the right answers in life. No one is going to fuck up your mind, no one is going to fuck up your soul. Why fear others in life, Saul? Why not trust each human on earth instead? Why be afraid of the unknown? Listen everyone, we have to explore the unknown, if not, what is it to be alive then? What is the reason for living if none of us can express ourselves? Who can we be if none of us will help each other out to be able to see the what-ifs? What if all of us can do something no one has thought of before? Could we then save the world? Yes, P6. Yes, Dr. Mio. I do remember seeing you in one of my lucid dreams. So I am not afraid to allow my soul to leave my body. And whatever it takes for this to happen, I will be more than happy to allow you to experiment on my body and soul anytime you want to. Thanks, P6. Are any others wanting and willing to go into our lucid dreams together? All of you. Thanks and Saul. We really need you in this experiment. Without your mind, we have no other place to go to in life while we are dreaming in life. Okay, Dr. Mio, I will agree to allow your experimental patient souls to be used inside my mind, but at any time that I ask you to stop your experiments on me, please stop other souls from coming into my lucid dreams. Okay, Saul. I promise that I will protect you from others in life, as best as I can, because I will have no control of other souls and what they can do to your soul and mind. Only you can protect yourself, and by doing this, is just make yourself wake up before something happens to your soul like you have done many times in your past nightmares. And this goes to all the patients that are here. The butler has prepared all of your rooms, so have a good night's sleep and best of luck to all of you tomorrow. Yes, P1. Dr. Mew, are you going to visit me in my lucid dreams tonight? No, P1. My body can not handle the doses of the hallucinogenic plants that are needed to allow your spirit to leave your body. Once all of you are together in one dream, I will try my best to find a way to get my soul involved in the experiments. Have a good night everyone. Oh, there is a pencil with a book to write down your dreams at night, if you can remember them. We want to keep all the dreams recorded as much as possible, thanks.